Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It is our third lesson on the first topic of Form 4, which is called Thin Lenses. As usual, let me comment by giving the quote of the day, which states that your dream doesn't have an expiry date. Therefore, take a deep breath and try again. We shall discuss that quote at the end of our class today. So today we are looking at the lens formula, which states that the reciprocal of focal length is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of object distance and the image distance. That is 1 over f, where f is the focal length of the lens being used, is equal to 1 over u, where u is the object distance measured from the lens, then plus 1 over v, where v is the image distance measured from the lens. Then the sign convention of real is usually positive. That is whenever you are measuring any real dimension, that is it can be the real focal length, it can also be maybe the real image distance, uh, then provided that the distance is real, it will always be indicated with a positive value. But for any virtual dimension, it's always indicated with a negative value. So it can be, um, for example, the image distance for a virtual image or, or also the focal length for a principal focus, which is actually uh, virtual. So in that case, we shall indicate all virtual dimensions are indicated by a negative. Therefore, the focal length f is positive for a convex or also called a converging length. Why? Because remember that a convex or a converging lens will always have a real principal focus. And because the focal length is the distance from the principal focus measured from the optical center, it means that if a convex or a converging lens has uh, a real principal focus, it will always have a real value of focal length. Therefore, the focal length, the value of focal length for a convex or for a converging length will always be a positive value. On the other hand, F, that is the focal length, is always negative for a concave or a diverging length. The reason being that a concave or a diverging length will always have um, a virtual principal focus or an imaginary principal focus that will always be behind that particular lens. So if the principal focus is imaginary and the focal length is the distance from the optical center to the principal focus, it means that the focal length will also be uh, behind that particular mirror, that is that particular length, or it will simply be uh, a virtual dimension. And we are saying that all virtual dimensions are indicated by negative. Therefore, the focal length for any concave or diverging length will always be a negative value. So let's look at our first example, which reads that an object is placed four centimeters in front of a convex length. So four centimeters, so the distance from the object up to the length, that is the object distance, which is usually denoted by u. Therefore, u is equals to four centimeter. Then in front of a convex length, so we have said that for convex lenses, we'll always have positive values of the focal length. Therefore, uh, of focal length, 6 centimeters. Therefore, the focal length is equal to positive 6 centimeters because we are using a convex or a converging length. Remember, if we were using um, a concave or a diverging length, then our value of f, we would have indicated it as negative 6 centimeters. But because this is a convex length, which always have a positive or a real focal length, then f will always be positive, which is positive 6 centimeters. Then find the position, nature, and magnification of the image. So based on the values that we have, we have u, which is 4 centimeters. We also have uh, the focal length, which is positive 6 centimeters. So to find the position, the position is simply the value of v. That is the image distance uh, measured from the length. So we shall use the mirror formula, which stated that the reciprocal of focal length is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of object distance and the image distance. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. So the focal length is 6 centimeters, so 1 over 6. Then the object distance is 4 centimeters, so plus 1 over 4. Then the image distance, that is the unknown, so plus 1 over v. So I'll take a quarter towards the... Um, towards the left hand side so that when it crosses the equal sign it will become a negative so that I have 1 over 6 minus 1 over 4 being equal to 1 over v. So if you compute 1 over 6 minus 1 over 4 you will actually obtain a negative 1 over 12. So 1 over v is equal to negative 1 over 12 therefore 
I'll do cross multiplication. So negative 1 multiplied by V, then 12 multiplied by 1. So 1 by 12. So of course, I'll divide both sides by negative 1 so that I remain with V alone. So that I'll have V being equal to 1 times 12 divided by negative 1. So of course, this will give me negative 12 centimeters. So the negative is simply to show you that the image that is formed, it is actually behind the mirror or it is, that is, it is behind the length or the image formed is on the same side as your object. Remember we said that uh, for lenses, whenever the image is on the same side as the object, then such an image is actually virtual. Therefore, the position of the image is 12 centimeters from the length, then it is on the same side of, uh, that is on the same side as the object. Or you can say that um, the image is 12 centimeters behind the length. So behind the length, that is what is indicating this particular negative. So the negative is simply to show you the position or the, the direction in relation to the length where your image is formed. Therefore, the image is formed 12 centimeters behind the length or 12 centimeters on the same side as the object of that particular length. Then uh, they also want us to find the nature, simply the characteristics of the image formed. Remember when the image is formed on the same side as the object for the case of lenses, then such an image must be virtual. The image is virtual because it is formed by virtual rays. Therefore, and we also saw that for convex lenses, for all positions, uh, that is, it is only one position whereby the image uh, that is formed by a convex length is actually virtual. And we saw that that is the case whereby the object exists between F and O. That is when the object is, pl is placed between uh, the principal focus and the optical center. We saw that such an image will always be upright and of course magnified. Therefore, the nature or the characteristics of the image formed is that one, it is virtual because the image distance is negative or the image is formed behind the mirror or on the same side as the object. Therefore, uh, the nature of the image formed is actually virtual, then it is also upright. Then they also want us to find the magnification of the image. So remember, magnification can be given by V over U, where V is the image distance from the length, then U is the object distance from the length. Therefore, magnification will simply be given by uh, V. We have found it as negative 12, but we have said the negative is simply to show you the direction where the image is formed in relation to our length. Therefore, we don't use the negative in our calculation. Therefore, the object, the image distance is simply 12 centimeters from the length divided by the object distance we were already given as 4 centimeters from that particular length. So 12 centimeters divided by 4 centimeters will obtain a magnification of 3. Again, remember, the magnification is a ratio, therefore it does not have any units. And because you are getting a value of magnification which is greater than 1, it simply shows you that the image is actually magnified. The image is magnified. Next, we look at our second example, which is that an object of height 10 centimeters, so height of the object is 10 centimeters, stands before a diverging length or focal length 30 centimeters. So from our previous slide, we have just said that a diverging length, which is also called a concave length, will always have a negative value of the focal length. The reason being that diverging lenses will always have their principal focus behind the length, or they will always have a virtual um, principal focus. And because the focal length represents the distance from the optical center up to the principal focus, and diverging lenses have their principal focus behind the length, it simply means that the focal length for the case of a diverging length or for the case of a concave length will, al will always be behind that particular length. Hence, it is a negative. Remember we said that any dimensions behind the mirror or any dimensions that are virtual will always be negative. Therefore, the focal length for a diverging length will be negative 30 centimeters. So the ne negative simply to show that it is behind that particular uh, length. Therefore, our F is negative 30 centimeter. So the most important point to note here is that whenever we are calculating using the length formula, the value of F for any diverging length or for any concave length, it will always be a negative value. Uh, contrary, for the case of a convex length or for the case of uh, a converging length, the value of F will always be a positive value as we saw in our first example. Then 
uh, we are also told that and at a distance of 20 centimeters from the lens so this is the object distance u which is 20 centimeters uh, then we are required to determine part a the image distance which is the value of v so i'll simply use the mirror formula which is stated that 1 over f should be equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v of course where f is the focal length u is the uh, object distance from the length then v is the image distance from the length so because i already have the values of f and u i'll simply substitute in this particular formula to find the value of v which is our image distance therefore 1 over f is negative 30 so we are said we have said that we are using negative 30 because this is a diverging or a concave length which will always have a negative value of the focal length otherwise if it was a convex length or a converging length we could have just taken the value of f as positive 30 centimeter so 1 over negative 30 is equals to 1 over u u is 20 centimeter so 1 over u plus 1 over v of course v is the unknown that is the image distance so i'll take 1 over 20 towards the left hand side so that it becomes a negative so i'll have 1 over negative 30 minus 1 over 20 being equal to 1 over u if you compute 1 over negative 30 minus 1 over 20 you'll simply obtain negative 5 over 60. on cross multiplying i'll have negative 5 multiplying by v to give me negative 5 v then 60 multiplying by 1 to give me 60. if i divide both sides by negative 5 i'll remain with v being equal to 60 divided by negative 5 which will give me negative 12 centimeters therefore the image distance is negative 12 centimeters remember if the question was asking the position of the image the answer will have been that the image is 12 centimeters behind the length or you can also say that the image is 12 centimeters on the same side as the object of that particular length so but if the question is just find the distance then you leave it as negative 12 centimeters where the negative simply represents the that your image will actually be virtual because v represents a virtual distance or a distance that is on the same side as the object of that particular length then part b they want us to find the height of the image so i'll simply use the formula for magnification because i'm already given height of the object and they want the height of the image which is hi so magnification is given by height of the image over height of the object so the same magnification can also be given by uh, v over u that is the uh, image distance from the length of an object distance from that particular length so the hi uh, is the unknown then divided by the ho height of the object which is 10 uh, of course i'm given as 10 centimeter should be equal to v over u the object that is the image distance v i've gotten it at negative 12 centimeters but we don't use the negative in the calculation because the negative is simply used to indicate uh, the direction in which our object that is our image is actually formed so the negative we only apply the negative when we are talking of the focal length but when we are talking of v and u we don't uh, use the negative in our calculation so you can see that i've used the negative when finding the focal length but the v is that is the negative in finding the object or the image distance is not used in the calculation it just shows you the direction in which or the position where your image will be so i'll just just pick uh 12 centimeters so that uh my hi that is my v is actually 12 centimeters then divided by my u that is the object distance was 20 centimeters so if i do cross multiplication i'll simply have hi multiplying by 20 which will give me 20 multiplied by height of the image then 10 multiplied by 12 i'll just get 120 if i divide both sides by 20 i'll simply have hi being equal to 120 divided by 20 so height of the image will be equal to six centimeters then part c the magnification so magnification is given by v over u that is um the image distance of an object distance which will be given by 12 that is v my v is actually 12 so you just pick the value without the sign the sign only applies when we are talking of the focal length but not when you are talking of the image or the object distance so my image distance is 12 divided by the object distance was actually 20 centimeters so 12 over 20 we just obtain a magnification of 0 0.6 remember alternatively you can also find magnification by using a hi over ho so you simply take height of the image is 6 centimeters over height of the object was actually uh, 10 centimeters so 6 divided by 10 you'll still obtain 0 0.6 
So uh, the value of magnification is below one, that is it is 0 0.6 showing that the image formed is actually diminished. However, if the value of magnification was above one, it simply shows that the image that was formed will actually be magnified. But if you get a value of magnification which is equal to one, it simply means that the image in that particular case has the same dimensions as the object. That is the height of the image will be equal to the height of the object. Similarly, V will be equal to U. Therefore, in that case, magnification will not have taken any, will not have taken place. So our third example reads that a length forms an image that is four times uh, the size of the object on the screen. Then the distance between the object and the screen is 100 centimeters when the image is sharply focused. So state with the reason the type of the length that was used. So because we are told that the image was formed on the screen or the image was actually focused on the screen, we know that it is only for the case of convex um, lenses whereby real images are formed. Remember, if an image is formed on the screen, it means that particular image is actually real. However, if the image is formed, for example, behind that particular uh, length, it means that the image is virtual, like, yeah. So, and we know that the two types of lenses that we looked at, that is the concave and the convex lenses, we said that it is only for the case of convex lenses that real images can be formed. However, for the concave lenses or for the diverging lenses, for all positions, actually the image formed will be uh, it will be virtual. So because there are only convex lenses or converging lenses that can form real images which are formed on the screen, it means that the type of the lens that was used must be a convex or a converging lens. The reason being the image that was formed, it is real. There are only real images that will be formed on the screen because we are told that the lens forms an image on the screen. So the image is actually real. Therefore, they used a convex or a converging uh, length. Then part B, they want us to calculate the focal length of that particular length. So we are told that a lens forms an image that is four times the size of the object. So four times the size of the object, it simply means that the image is magnified by factor four. Therefore, the magnification is actually four. So because we know that magnification is V over U, it simply means that V over U will be equal to four, which is the magnification. If I make V subject of the formula, I'll simply multiply both sides by U. Therefore, V, that is the image distance, is equals four multiplied by the object distance. I'm further told that the distance between the object and the screen is 100 centimeters uh, when the image is sharply focused. And remember, because our image is being formed on that particular screen, it simply means that if you take the distance from the object up to the screen, that will simply be equal to the sum of the object distance and the image distance. So this one simply means because the image is formed on the screen and the object is placed 100 centimeters from the screen, it simply means that if you take the object distance plus the image distance, it's supposed to give you 100 centimeters. Therefore, u plus v is equal to 100 centimeters. If I substitute the value of v, which is for you in this particular equation, I'll simply have u plus v. My value of v is for u. So v plus for u will be equal to 100 centimeters. So u plus for u, you'll simply get 5u, which is equal to 100 centimeters. So u, if I divide both sides by 5, I'll have u being equal to 100 divided by 5, which will give me 20 centimeters. So my purpose of finding the values of u and v is that so that I can apply the uh, lens formula for, for me to find the focal length. So similarly, because v was equals to 4u, if I substitute the value of u that I've gotten, which is 20 centimeters, in this particular formula, I'll simply have v being equal to 4 multiplied by u, but the value of u is actually 20 centimeters. So 4 times 20 centimeters, you'll get 80 centimeters. So that is the image distance from the length. Now, because I already have the values of u and v, I can easily apply the lens formula to find my focal length, which is the required value. So the lens formula stated that the reciprocal of focal length is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of object distance and the image distance from the length. Therefore, one over f is equal to one over the object distance u, I've computed it as 20 centimeter, plus the image distance is actually uh, 80 centimeters. So v is 80 centimeters plus one over 80 centimeters. So if I take 1 over 20 plus 1 over 80, of course the LCM is 80. 20 into 80, it goes there 
uh, four times, four times one, you get four. Then 18 to 80, one time, one times one, you just get one. So four plus one, you'll obtain five divided by 80. So on taking reciprocals on both sides, uh, one over f, its reciprocal is f over one, which is just f. Then the reciprocal of five over 80 is just 80 divided by five. So the focal length is equals to 80 divided by five, which gives me 16 centimeters. Lastly, I have an exercise that I recommend you should try at your own free time to get the understanding of the examples that you have just done. Of course, if you have any challenges in handling any of the questions, feel free to drop a comment specifying the question that you need help in. And as usual, I'm always here to try and help where possible. So we've come to the end of our class today, but we need to discuss the quote of the day. The quote of the day stated that your dream doesn't have an expiry date. Therefore, take a deep breath and try again. So the quote is warning us against giving up on our dreams whenever we encounter small obstacles on our path to greatness. Recall that all great things in the world take time to be achieved. Therefore, overnight success is just a myth. And lastly, recall that an American inventor by the name Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments before he invented the present light bulb. Therefore, don't give up. Keep working hard. Keep believing. Keep trusting the process. And in the end, you are going to, to win. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.